All right, hello. Um, just putting the the volume. Uh, so I uh, still doing this thing where I look at the um, old videos. Um, I picked this one sort of at random. Wait a minute. Uh, how do I? Oi. Damn, that was loud. Okay. Um, right, put it nicely in the corner of the screen capture program thingy. All right. Uh, this one is called Super Energy Raisin Juice. Um, and I just noticed in the first frame I still have that same aluminum foil. Uh, I don't know if it's ex I mean, it's not the same box, it's just one that looks the same. And <laughs> it's just another thing also noticed from the very first frame of the video. Uh, if you look uh, just right, just on top, like you see a P, okay, that's uh, on the, the box, but just above that, you see like two white circles. Those are. Uh, uh, they're boxes of ant poison. Like you put those little circles on the floor and you make a little hole in it with a screwdriver and then like the ants go in, they think it's food and they take it to the nest and it like genocides everybody. Anyway, so um, not very nice, but uh, you know, that's that's how it is. Alright, let's watch. Oh yeah, also, um, uh, this is, the video is from um, the summer 2008. That was, um, like uh, among the first videos that that I that I made and um, uh, like I uploaded like a few videos on on the very same day so I think that one is um, one of the videos that I upload like in a batch of the first day that I actually started making uh, the the videos anyway so it was a long time ago all right I'm gonna make a special recipe here it's a super energy raisin juice. Hmm. The first thing I need is coffee. I guess by that time I had discovered Monster Energy drinks. And you know, it's funny, I see all the junk on the floor and I'm sort of thinking to myself that uh, right now it's it's even worse than this. So I really need to clean up, haven't cleaned up these past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, it's always like that, you know, the, the busier I am, the more the apartment is a mess. <laughs> I just like I don't have the energy to clean anymore, so just everything all goes to uh, anyway. Okay. So we're gonna go step by step here. I have some like raisins, okay, and I put some of them like in this foam cup, okay. And weird how I say okay, okay, like I did this, okay, like I don't know. So it's, <laughs> it sounds kind of weird. I don't know. I. I, I don't usually say like I did this, okay? Uh, I don't know. I did. Guess I was sort of feeling weird about making a video, but anyway. So we put this here, and we st we start, of course, with the raisins. Huh? That blue box there. That's uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, I I used to you I not like I had breathing problems or something but I would use that stuff all the time like you put it on your back and it just feels like <laughs> like you're swallowing a, uh, I don't know like a whole bottle of cough syrup or something just like don't put it on your balls because it really really hurts anyway not that I did it but yeah whatever anyway. because without raisins it wouldn't be a raisin juice mm. okay now can you even like turn those little like dried raisins into a juice. It, it's like, I think if you add liquid or something. The ingredient is coffee. Where the hell is it? Okay, over there. Okay. Yeah, video quality is extremely bad because that was like one of the early days uh, digital cameras. Um, I mean, this video is from 2008, but I mean, I was using that camera for a long time already back then so this is like digital camera from like probably I don't know maybe 2002 or 2003 or something so um, 
yeah that's why the quality is horrible it, it recorded videos at like 15 frames per second and it just wasn't very good so we put a little bit of coffee in there okay okay so so far raisin and coffee it makes sense because coffee obviously it's like this drug that makes you feel awake even when you're not and raisins well like I guess there's sugar in them and of course guys when you're making juice uh, always remember that you gotta have some liquid in there so like oh uh, yeah that sort of yeah if only I knew to do this for soups as well I mean. if you start mixing stuff and there's no liquid you know it's gonna be like all weird and stuff it's like a cream or baby formula or something uh, there's huh. some like the, the those th that stack of plates you know, see those plates, you know, with the, uh, yeah, the blue outline? I still use those, but I only have like two or three left. I think I broke all the other ones. It's funny to see them all in the, in a big stack like that. Okay. Uh, there's some random stuff you can put in there as well, like, okay. Uh, that's a, here. That's a fruit or more. vegetable. Mm. Putting them in the uh, mixer. Okay. Well, just a little piece like that is enough. Mm. Um, you know, it's only very recently that I actually learned the difference between the hot peppers and like the peppers that aren't hot. Because um, I was wondering, like, how the hell do people make those peppers so spicy? You know, and like I just. That's one other thing that uh, a piece of common knowledge has somehow escaped me that, you know, there's normal peppers, that, like the big ones that aren't like super hot that you spit fire when you eat them, and there's a little hot peppers that, you know, you spit fire when you eat them. Uh, I just, I thought they did something to them to make them super spicy or something. Anyway. Milk. Oh my god, I just, sorry, I just keep pausing the video. <laughs> um, uh, wait. Okay, uh, it's not very clear. Wait. That, bo that box there, it's like a little bottle. Uh, I mean, I, I can't point to the screen, but um, yeah, see, between the two black heating element there's like a little bottle that's like um, it's a frozen thing you know that you would it's like Minute Maid makes some of them it's like you have uh, grape juice and orange juice fruit punch whatever and it's like you open them and it's frozen and you're supposed to I think mix them in juice or something you know or you mix them in, in like two parts water or something like that and it makes juice but I would just like eat it with a spoon like if it was like a, a popsicle or something. So I used to have a, I used to buy those all the time. It's kind of funny to see them. It makes me want to go buy one right now. Yeah, I'll pause the video and just, well, I'll do that later. Milk. Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, it, 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 I, I knew a girl um, from Japan, but, like, she uh, lived in Africa for a long time. Uh, she was, like, part of, like, you know, involved in community uh, uh, organizations and, um, you know, so she did a lot of, like, charity work all over the world. And, and she said that, um, I don't remember what country she was in, in Africa, but she said that, like uh, they had stores where they would sell like all the expired foods from um, the groceries in Europe that you know when uh, I don't know like whatever whatever thing has an expiration date on it when the European groceries couldn't sell them they would just send them to that place in Africa so no matter what you would buy there it was always expired because it came from Europe and you know they just um, I mean, I don't know if it's sad or happy or, I mean, 
Yeah. I do wonder if things just are made to expire more quickly, but anyway, whatever. Uh, it's a sad state of affairs sometimes. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. Bread's always a good thing. It like some people say that you know. Oh yeah. See, it's the. Is it the minute made? Wait. Ah. Uh, had the palm bread. Yeah. Huh. Anyway, I'm not listening to myself, I just keep uh, going. Okay. Um oh yeah. Bread's always a good thing. It like some people say that, you know, when you eat bread, you know, it kind of cleans away the juice. So I put some bread, like, right from the start. Mmm. I, I don't know why I put... I guess that the bread would thicken the juice or something? I, I don't know. Mm. It's like... Bread is like a sponge, you know? It's like it dries up your insides. You, you can't just eat bread. You need to drink, too. I guess it... Both at the same time. Okay, let's try this. Um... I don't know how good this will taste, though. I mean, I hope I'm not going to fall sick again. Hmm. Is there something more I would have put? Uh, never mind. Okay. Let's try the sound. Oh, the sound is so bad, I, I can't barely hear what I'm saying. I mean, normally you're supposed to hear yourself better than you hear other people, but anyway. It's blending pretty well, actually. Give it some time, okay? Okay. That was a good blender. It sucks I broke it. Ha! Huh. Another minute made the uh, ice thingy box there in the background. All right. Now an important ingredient here is sugar. Hmm. Well, there's some sugar in the grapes already, but... Uh, mm, well, it smells not so bad, but some sugar would be okay. Uh, you would normally mix in some Heineken as well, but I ran out of it, so, like, whatever. Oh my god, the Heineken. Uh, the good old days where I would just... <laughs> wow. You know, there was a time when you opened my fridge, the only thing you'll find in my fridge is Heineken. Like, that's it, nothing else. My fridge is just Heineken. And yeah, I don't know. It was. That's ah, the good old days. Also, if you put in Heineken and, like, you give the super juice to a kid or something, you know, like, the cops are gonna arrest you because you can't, you know, like, give alcohol to kids. Yeah. So, like, be careful about that stuff, okay? You know, it, it, in, in, in the States, you know, like, if you're under 21, you can't drink. So, like, someone who's 18 years old, like, giving him alcohol is just no way. No, you, you go to prison, you know, you don't drink alcohol when you're 18. But you can go to war, though. I mean, it's, I don't know, it should be, you should, I, I don't know, I just, uh, I think drinking alcohol is less dangerous than going to fight in a war, but anyway, whatever. I think I had just like tried a sausage thingy juice or something. Um, yeah, uh, I I think I was just trying to think of things that either had a lot of sugar or had caffeine or had calories. I mean, calories are a unit of energy, right? So if you get a lot of uh, calories, you should have a lot of energy. I mean, logically, I, I don't know. Let's see. Oh yeah, why not? I put some sugar. Might as well put this as well. Um, like that. Oh. Maple syrup. Oh, so that's right, a good idea. This. 
I, I, that video, I think it was in June, June 2008, so it was out of, <laughs> like maple syrup, they sell it, what, in March, March, April, around then, so if this is June, I think that uh, bottle must have been expired. We're going to have to let it press a little because, like, um, it's always, like, scary to drink stuff like that, so you got to, like, prepare yourself mentally and everything. I mean... Well, I used to do that a lot with uh, Gatorade. You, could, you put some Gatorade in coffee and, like, ice or whatever, uh. and, like, when you play hockey oh, and yeah. you drink, like, Gatorade and, and coffee at the same time, you know, it kind of, like, gives you a huge boost. Well, it's it's. <laughs> I I haven't tried this in a very very long time, but <coughs> I mean, I remember when I when I used to play hockey, I I would do this. I had this. Uh, I came to the arena with my uh, with my mixtures, and I would still use the original bottle of uh, Gatorade, but I would add a lot of stuff to it. I would put coffee and uh, I don't know what else, but um, like Gatorade and coffee mixed together has a distinctive taste and it's not very good but I would drink that before the games and it's like but the thing if you put coffee in Gatorade it turns brown so like my teammates were sort of joking that I was drinking poop you know but uh, yeah anyway like you could put some like whatever sugar or something like all kind of stuff that gives you more energy you know Okay. You gotta learn something from animals, okay? The most important thing to tell whether food is good or not, okay, is to smell it. Mm. So, like, if it doesn't smell good, then it's not good. It, it's funny, like, how the sense of smell and the sense of taste are sort of similar. You know, I, in the sense, something like something smells the way it tastes usually you know it's like the two senses are somehow I guess connected I guess I mean I never tasted poop but I smelled poop so I think I have an idea what poop would taste like based on what I, I, I mean I, not that I would ever try it I don't know what I'm even talking about that but yeah I mean that, it's logical you know you go in a restaurant and it smells good you know and, you know. and it doesn't smell bad it's just I don't know, it smells kind of strange. There's like something in there that's kind of like unnatural. Maybe the milk was not good. Um, I have some foam cups, but they're not all clean, you know. Sometimes there's kind of like random thing inside. That's just coffee, I guess. You know, sometimes things look a lot worse than they are, and I guess with the low <laughs> resolution, it, it looks like it's like you know, dried blood or something rotten. I'm pretty sure that's just coffee. Like, I didn't, I drank coffee and I didn't clean it or, I don't know, something like that, I guess. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Well, if it's, if I don't know what it is, I, <laughs> it must have been there for a long time, I don't know. Uh, all right, so we're going to make a little experience. Mm. Um, I don't know if I'm going to survive this, I'm, I'm probably going to survive it, but mm. like in case I don't and someone like finds this video, okay, I'm going to make my will. Um, I want uh, like everything that I own, okay, like to go to the Communist Party of China. The Communist Party of China? Uh, I don't know what I was thinking when I said that, but um, I mean, I've, I was never a fan of... of, of uh, <laughs> the Communist Party of China, I, I don't know, they're, they're pretty bad, they're pretty bad, they've always, I mean, it, it, this video is from 2008, I don't know, it's like, I think back then, there was sort of a feeling that China was, you know, kind of going in the right direction, like, step by step, of course, but, it's like, you know, people would joke that, oh, well, you know, back in Mao's days, it, it was sort of like North Korea, it was like a prison country, but you know, now it's getting better, it's progressing. Um, I think that was sort of the idea back then, that China was becoming more free and all, but yeah, now they have this 
president today who just thinks he's anyway whatever yeah so they 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 regressed that's that's for sure they regressed anyway okay and uh so that's official if i die after drinking this um i don't think it's legal to make a will just by video it has to be i haven't I haven't done wills in a very, very long time. I, I think e either you have two witnesses, uh, if it's written by computer, or it has to be written by hand, by handwriting, and then you sign it. Then it's legal. But I, no, I don't think a video um, will is is legal here. So, like, if China tries to um, cash in on this or something, not I'm gonna die. It, but you know, just yeah. Oh, man. What it's the hell? It's supposed to be good. Come on. It's like... Okay. I'm not going to drink this. Okay. Uh, just a little bit. Yeah, man. Okay. It should be good, though. I didn't put anything too weird. And maybe it's... I, I don't know. The bread or the milk, maybe? that. It should be good. I don't know. Uh, it tastes sort of like... Like coffee, but like... You know, like, cafe latte, uh -huh. and like, when you put like, way too much sugar, okay, it kind of tastes like that. Well, that's okay. Um, that's okay. raisins in there, and like, weird stuff as well, I kind of expect a, like, a weird smell, but, well, I don't know, it's like weird. Hmm. But it's definitely like, got a lot of energy, because there's like, a whole bunch of sugar, and like, maple syrup, and like stuff so um I I maybe it I should have put water to dilute the taste I guess I don't know huh, what's that thing in the in the bottom huh are these like rockets like the uh popsicle I don't know yeah these are, wait my god the video quality is just so bad wait can I Wait. It's like a whole bunch of sugar and like maple syrup and like stuff, so. Um. Huh. I can't tell what it is. What? Mini something. Huh, whatever. Definitely, uh. Like, healthy. Uh, but, you know, what is healthy is not always, like, uh, good for your health, you know? Uh, you know, what the hell am I saying? No, what I meant to say is that what's healthy is not always, you know, it, it doesn't always taste good. Right. Okay? Because, like, medication is always good for your health. Well, but, like, usually it's disgusting. No, I mean, medication is not always good for your health, but... I don't know why they, they make it disgusting. I guess because they don't want people to, like, um... Uh, binge on it or something. You know, apparently antifreeze used to taste good, but they made it disgusting on purpose so that people wouldn't like put it in people's drinks or something. I mean, I wish they would put some funny things in there so that like it would taste better. But hmm. um, man, it's missing something. Um. It's really missing something. I don't know what I could put in there. Water. Oh, yes, I know. Put water. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. What about... What the hell? Ice cream. Ice cream? No, put water. Wait a second. Uh, what is that ice cream? I didn't... I don't remember ever buying that kind of ice cream. Okay. Um, uh. when, when you put ice cream in, in like a juice, okay, like always make sure that you take away like the little wooden thingy, you know, like oh, yeah. you know this wooden stuff. Always make sure that what's that? You that's take it away. That's a Hagen Huh? What? What was it in that box? I don't know. Um. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, that would make it even more sweet. I, I, I like the problem was it was too sweet, and I had something sweet. I, I'm not sure what I was thinking anyway. Uh, this might make it like taste much better or like much worse. So like. Put water. Taking a gamble or something. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, this little thing here, you know, you see this? Oh. It's like a magical product. It's sound like a game tire or something. And when you put that, okay, like the mice, they all go away because like it makes some kind of noise. <laughs> so I didn't mention that thing. I remembered right then. <laughs> That's the thing for the mice. All right. I mean, I don't know if adding something sweet to something that's too sweet already would make it better, but... Uh. You know what? Fuck that. I'm not gonna drink that. Well... Alright, good night. Uh... Okay, I, um... That... That was... That was weird. Uh... Uh... It sort of ends kind of abruptly. I, Anyway, I don't, I, have, I don't know. Um, all right. <laughs> um, I mean, I remember making like these sort of weird drink experiments. I mean, I was sort of trying to create my own version of energy drinks, I guess. So I would just uh, put whatever had um, sugar or calories or... Huh. That's funny. Well, anyway, that's uh, that's what it is. <laughs> um, gotta think of what videos to make next. But, alright, see you guys. Bye bye.